Um, hey everyone, um, just wanted to share a little bit uh, about a the name of God that has just really influenced our lives, specifically um, God, the, the name uh, El Roy, and uh, the God who sees. And I believe that that name has just shown strong in my life, uh, personally, um, just just revealing my purpose and and, and the God given uh, mission um, that God has just recently spoken over my life and I, I believe there was a time just in my Christian faith where um, I doubted and I, I just didn't know the the calling that God had for me and I think you see people around you um, earlier in your faith uh, who are actually walking in their purpose and you just have that question that you ask like what am I called to do what's what's my assignment and I believe that um, just that name of God who the God who sees he sees you um, he because he designed you, he created you um, for good works, and he's the one that gives you the gifts and talents to be able to um, just impact lives. And so I just think that's a, a powerful way in which God ha has just revealed himself strong to me in, in that name specifically. How about you? Um, I just think back to a time uh, when we were uh, both in college and we had just been newly married and we just kind of embarked on that journey. Um, we were in a Christian faith class and um, we were challenged by our professor to um, dive in and, and see what our spiritual gifts would be and take the assessment. And um, it was just so intriguing to us and that God would have, that would have a specific design and purpose for us and that we would have unique gifts given to us by the Holy Spirit. And, um, and it just makes me think of God being El Roy in our lives because in those times of our, in our life when we were in a wilderness and we didn't know, um, and, and you know, sometimes you find yourself like um, Hagar fleeing and running away from a promise that God would have for you and, and feeling like nobody sees you, nobody, um, that you don't have anything to offer. And, um, and in that time, you know, it was a particular struggle for me and God really used Lauren um, to kind of encourage me and reflect and, and also discern um, what those gifts were just kind of surfacing, uh, how those gifts were surfacing in my life and, and just becoming evident. And, um, and I just seeing Lauren as well kind of embrace the gifts that he had given us, uh, that, he, that the Lord had given him. And it was just so empowering and encouraging to see that God was is so intentional and he's so purposeful in the way he calls us and designs us so that we are equipped for every good work in Christ Jesus. And um, and I think that's just been um, something we always hearken back to and remembering what he called us to do, the gifts that we have. And, and even though our assignments have changed in every season, those, um, those times where, where God just spoke clearly to us and that he sees us in every season, even in our struggles, even when we feel abandoned, even when we feel lost, God sees us and he has something for us. There's a purpose for our pain. And um, and we just, we always um, keep that hope in our hearts. Um, so. All right, that's it.